Hey guys, I hope that you are doing absolutely wonderful and have enjoyed your day and all of that. If you are returning back, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. My channel looks at real hardcore energy at times, so just buckle up. I'm real straightforward for the uh, upright truth, truth of a matter. And uh, I will roar at stupidness, okay, um, and to uproot nasty type of energy so that uh, our world can be a better place. The scripture is found in the tarot, but I'm not a religious channel, but it is found in the tarot. It's written up on my heart. I read my tarot by way of the scripture, and we're uh, asking at the hand of the only wise king of the universe, uh, whose name is Jehovah, and he says that's his name forever. He is our Yeshua, which is salvation. I kiss his son. That walked among us in the flesh. He lives in my heart. He uh, died and rose again. And uh, the great Elohim has uh, uh, raised him from the dead. And I'm not ashamed of him one bit. And so sometimes things uh, come across, uh, you know, um, real heavy where the scripture is concerned. It's our correction. It is our direction. It is um, things that we weigh out uh, within matters. And so if this isn't something that you're looking for, then this is where you're going to click off. Otherwise, welcome. Grow with us. Uh, buckle up because like I said we get real hardcore energy and I, when I say hardcore energy sometimes we get some real heavy stuff that we deal with on this channel some of this stuff is just FYI good information for us to understand about some of it is uh, things that could be past issues that uh, people need to transmute the energy within some people are actually in this energy of some things that come out and need to either get up if you fell down or you fall into mischief and the, the great one will meet you face to face and shake you out of the earth because that's what he says yes i mean people call it cause and effect um reaping and sowing karmic activity all the rest it, it, and it is okay so you and I have fallen down in our life sometime, and we have a choice to get up and make a thing right otherwise again you uh end up uh plowing a ground with nasty seeds within it and you, you and I just prove who we are if we get up and make a thing right or we don't so anyway these are the kind of things that I uh, deal with on the channel and uh, again I'm glad to have you if you stay and thanks for checking me out if you got to go away so let's go ahead and see what's going on out here in this reading or in this reading <laughs> why is it out here you I appreciate you so very much you have a rebuke bind and block every foul wicked dark energy shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs I thank you for the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth what do you want to bring out here? Thank you. So we do have the past and uh, somebody returning and people did return and there's forgiveness and stuff like that here. Uh, something uh, that is, uh, you know, very fresh here and very solid with the pentacle that is here. It's coming right out of the hand of the divine himself. Uh, maybe somebody from your past is um, returning to be gracious, or they obviously they were for a lot of people today. Um, there's pregnancies here. This is a child card as well. Somebody's been in nostalgia about a pregnancy from the past as well. Um, but this is a good, solid new beginning for a return and a forgiveness that's out here. There is the Empress. All right, well, the Empress is loving, caring, kind. She's the most powerful uh, feminine card in the deck. Okay, if she's in the upright, she is lovely, caring, generous. She is the Gimel in the Hebrew, which is rich and generous. It's the pictograph of what looks like a, a leg. Uh, and it also looks like an L, but the Gimel is a G, so the G and the L. A uh, person, place, or thing, first, middle, last name, or Gale could be the name, or something large is here, the other direction, or an LG, maybe a phone connection as well. Whatever that is, the Empress is beauty at its finest, and she really would be caring and forgiving and stuff like that. Otherwise, if you are dealing with the, as some people are dealing with people that maybe was not forgiving or generous today or, or something like that, uh, there's projects with her. There is um, legal matters with, with the Empress as well. She represents the skills of justice and uh, bank systems as well. Uh, but she is a beautiful card to get. Some people are dealing with their mothers, and since she does does represent pregnancy a pregnancy energy is here and children is here as well or grandparents uh, she's somebody that's known also in the public eye show me the empress here show me the empress here let's see yeah feeling uh, left out in the cold if somebody's done this to this empress 
uh, or if this empress is not in the upright, she's a piece of crap, she's just cute, that's just that, she has no discretion about her, then uh, something about being left out in the cold or thrown out, if she would represent, you know, some boss type of energy as well. There's uh, six pentacles here. She would have an extra pentacle, so waiting on something with seven pentacles if I wanted to look at it that way. But she does represent being rich and generous, so she would have the extra pentacle here with this five pentacles, which is generosity, which is here. And so, you know, some people are, some people are not, but this is beautiful energy actually coming out. Somebody's, uh, you know, feeling cold, okay, homeless as well, and she would uh, find some type of a way to, you know, help somebody like that. Okay, that's what the Empress does. Show me the uh, Ace of Pentacles. So somebody's in their mind about money. Something very physical out here, uh, even within pregnancy matters. And then so be it. But somebody is finally getting out of their head because the Nine is a uh, ending for a new beginning. Then great. Somebody is in their head about a pregnancy, feeling insecure about something here. Okay. Um, communication. This could be a little children card or a teenager card. Doesn't have to be. It's also a private investigator as well. Somebody's checking somebody out. There's communication here. It's got somebody up in their head. Show me the six of cups. Show me the six of cups. Thank you. Uh, secrets. Okay. This is high volume intuition though. This is a very big spiritual card to get. Tapping into your intuition for communication because somebody is uh, anxious within something. Insecure uh, around some ordeal. Really needing to be spiritual here in a return. Something about a job or a jet or uh, a trucker energy we can pull out of the uh, Empress or just some type of travel is here. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is a contemplation card or apathy if somebody doesn't care then you are dealing with somebody mental uh, that is in high status they're just rich and, the, and they're not generous they would throw somebody out within some matter they're, somebody's up in their head money situations are uh, a big ordeal okay for this kind of stuff and there were secrets around past issues and so be it somebody sitting here pouted they contemplated something or somebody's taking the cup then great then somebody needs to take a cup and to start a new um fresh, solid, um, you know, foundation of something. All right, let me just pull some cards for my homemade deck. You'll hope you just pick. This is the energy around everybody for the collective. Something's emotional out here in a very big way, okay? They that sow in tears shall reap enjoy he that goes forth and weepeth beareth precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him well somebody has been crying here okay somebody has been crying and they're going to reap joy for whoever's done what or contemplated what or threw somebody out or something like that there's generosity coming and it's going to bring joy okay everybody knows that the person lies and they're not respected so somebody's out here they're not respected at all Okay, within something that's taken place, that they, they, they lied about something. Now is the time. We just kept seeing the liar card on my platforms today. So somebody, you know, has been secretive around some past issue. Somebody's mother is involved or a child is involved or there's some type of a legal matter around something. Everybody knows somebody's a liar and the person's just not respected at all. Okay. Um, and it caused somebody else to have to go through insecurity and feeling left out in the cold, okay, because somebody's uh, done something out here. A passing thought always, okay, somebody's constantly in their head about something here, okay. Um, the next card is a disturbing, a disturbing or a stirring by water. So we do know that something's happened by water for some people. Um, the float trip thing has come out on my channel over and over, so whatever that is. Uh, shake, move, and toss, and trouble energy is here. We have a rope energy. Uh, um, so, it's a, you know, if we've got legal matters, because the Empress represents that. We have a secret investigator here. This is secrets. This is an investigator. Somebody knows somebody's a liar. They're not respected. They've done something. All right. Uh, and then somebody has died within some matter because Ten Swords is a death and it's a betrayal as well. So somebody's got some type of a death matter with ropes and stuff like that. Or somebody's been drug in with cords and ropes of deceit because somebody's a liar out here. Um, there's also an elder 
and somebody's dignity is out here. Okay, something about greatness. There's a, a castle out here as well. Well, this is empires. Okay, with the, with the empress. Something about uh, an older person that is here. Um, Jehovah is repairing how we evangelize to one another. Okay, bringing good news, just being upright, teaching good, wholesome. This is spirituality. The high priestess holds the Torah where we even get our faith in, in standing in the truth and loving Elohim and then loving one another. Okay, and Jehovah is repairing uh, the uh, gates evangelism. Okay, in, in, in a different way. He's doing a new thing. Okay, there is a strong authority out here. Okay, that's the Empress, okay, energy. And there is a yes. So if you had a question about something, there is a yes out here. It also says, yes, there is something that exists. All right, well, somebody's done something. Somebody has studied something out. Now somebody knows that uh, somebody is a liar. Now they're not respected within some matter. It's shaken and moved something uh, within some matter. It's caused a disturbing energy that has uh, been around for some people around a water situation uh and things like that so whatever this is for any given person this is the energy that Jehovah wants to bring out to address so if it's not your reading it won't be your reading it seems like it's a specific reading here uh we have the j and the b and the t the g and the l is out here and then the, the Gibo is here, which is another letter G. So GG, a gag. If somebody did die by a rope and they were gagged, then something's out here. Within that, there's strong authority and a family organization written on here, uh, uh, involved in some situations, so be it. This also looks like an ex. Some people are dealing with their ex, then so be it. This is about being hospitable, okay? Generosity, okay? This is a fortune rune. It's something uh, to do with talent, okay? And talent successfully will be applied. But there's deterioration and poverty and crisis to those who are undeserving. So whoever the lying freak is um, that's known to be a liar and they're not respected, then they're undeserving of something out here. Only way to set yourself free from a lie is to tell the truth and come clean about something. And somebody had 24 hours to do the thing. They were going to wish that they had, okay? There's good news coming. This is a loyal friend. This is also a yes card. So we have something out here about yes. And yes, something does exist out here as well. Uh, so, you know, whatever this is, this is some type of a, a, a friend being faithful. It's a good news card. It's joy. And, and those who reap in tears are going to, or sow in tears are going to reap in joy, okay? This also can trace us back to um, control freak issues as well with the dog. What else do you want to bring out here, Jehovah? Thank you for giving hope. The Empress has a counterpart. We know that there is some type of a um, nice relationship somewhere as well. And somebody needs to speak. They're in their head about that solid, you know, gift or, or some type of a marriage contract could be here with that. Um so, you know, somebody just needs to get up, use your intuition. If somebody from your past needs to speak about something here, they're just being a little insecure, but there is going to be some type of generosity within a conversation once you get up and do the thing that you know that you need to do. If you lied to yourself about something and everybody knows that you lied about something, then you need to get up and come clean about it and let Jehovah give you grace. Jehovah already stated today that if you're going to cover your sin, there won't be no mercy for you. But if you will forsake it and uh, confess it, there would be mercy and he can give you a new foundation foundation and then you'd be clean okay and then people will respect you for saying the right thing two more cards please yes there is a reunion out here okay so it's right here let every word be established in two or three witnesses something did happen at a reunion obviously people reunited for the holidays and stuff like that okay so somebody also knows somebody's a liar that re reunited and somebody's you know undeserving of something and poverty and crisis is here for some people that uh just gonna hang on to their pride and ego then so be it there is an imposter that is again a liar uh, the imposter card is somebody who is just hostile all the time. Okay, this is a weakness within somebody. Okay, they're just uh, there's hostility that's been here within some war. So we have a private investigator around some ordeal. Okay, um, a marriage or a business is here with this card as well. Okay, so we've got a marriage and a business, and somebody's around some ordeal that uh, has an imposter and. Uh, Something went down, but then some matter. This is somebody of high regard. Well, we have somebody's dignity out here as well and a strong authority. Uh, so this is somebody of high regard, and so be it. That would be the empress, especially in the upright. Um, 
this is uh, using your wisdom as well or a grandparent could be here all last week we kept getting words grandparent or your grandchildren or something like that uh you're also dealing with somebody who's very uh, rigid out here okay so since we have a hostility card and somebody who's rigid out here uh then something's here okay but there's some type of good news coming within some matter out here that's went down with somebody who is undeserving of something we have a um a single male here this is somebody who wants to service somebody it also tells you not to be taken advantage of okay so don't be taken advantage of this is what come out for this reading guys until next time shalom